Hello beautiful souls, I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Today's pick a card reading. Oh, before that, if you like my video, like my channel, please like, share, subscribe and comment. And feel free to look in the description box if you need any of my services. Okay, link is over there in the description box. And yes, today's, uh, today's pick a card reading is on the topic, should you trust on that person? Shall you trust them or not? Okay. So there, there will be five piles and yes, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with everybody. So take what resonates and leave the rest. And also this is a timeless reading. So whenever you're drawn to this video and this reading, this message, this, uh, this message is meant for you. Okay. So should you trust them or not? Five piles. Number one, trust. Number two, effort. Number three, patience number four smile and number five love just see which of these draws you the most okay you can pause the video you can meditate you can use pendulum or any means to see which one draws you the most one two three four five okay Yeah, so let's begin. So number one, people who chose this trust. Let's see. If you should trust them or not. File number one, trust on the person. Guys, this person can be anybody like your friend, your lover, anybody. We call the trust card. This is the trust card. What else do you want to know? Yes, definitely. You should trust them. Definitely. Yes, 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 yes. This person is very good for you. Very safe. You can trust them. I don't think I can explain much about them. Trust, trust, and the topic is, should you trust them? So obviously, yes, yes, yes. See, this person is flying. You can fly with them without having this fear of falling down. See the level of trust. So yes, definitely, yes. Okay, so pile number two, there is nothing much I can explain about it. Okay, so this was your reading and I'm very happy. This is a very positive start. So yeah. Let's begin with the second one, effort. Guides, please let me know. And yes, there are no reversals, okay? Guides, please let me know. Pile number two, should trust that person or not? Should pile number two, trust that person or not? Pile number two, trust that person. Pile number two. Trust that person. Pile number two. Trust that person. Should they trust that person? I don't know. Every time these two cards are running, okay, fine. I'll see. Well, schizophrenia. Friendliness. You are in doubt, right? You don't know. You are insecure. You don't know if. It is safe for you to trust this person or not, right? Yeah, because, and I guess this is why this effort card. You are trying to figure out your own emotions, your own feelings, and whether you should trust them or not. Because there, there is feeling, friendliness card. There is feeling, a lot of love. There is feeling, but there is insecurity and a lot of negative thoughts also maybe your circumstances are not good and you have to make a lot of efforts in order to be together so this is why you might be thinking that is this person worth it so this might be the case with few of you just let me pick a final card because i'm getting mixed feelings here but here yeah, i feel you should trust them you should give it a try okay because this is this schizophrenia speaks of your own mental insecurity, your own mental blockages, which is not in reality, right? This is what schizophrenia is. 
so yeah if you do not trust if you find it difficult to trust this person just think that it is just in your head okay it is not in reality so you should trust this person okay so like pick a card guys please give me one more card file number two trust this person something understanding yes definitely you should trust them as i already told you that this is just in your mind okay this distrust this insecurity is just in your mind you should trust this person we got this understanding card this bird is flying from the cage see this see I'll, I'll explain this to you this bird was in the cage so this cage is metaphorically your own mental blockages which i have already explained about when you open this when you just let go of your mental insecurities you will get out of this cage and you will have the whole sky to fly you will be free you will be released so you get the meaning right just release yourself from this mental prison and yes this person is safe to trust just put some effort just put some effort to release yourself from this maybe due to some past experiences or something you are thinking this way and it is good to be guarded sometimes okay it is good to be guarded you should, we should not trust everybody blindly but in this case this is just in your head you can trust them okay so pile number two this was yours let's see pile number three patience so pile number three we are not doing any reversal readings today and this person can be your friend your mentor your uh, sibling your lover anybody okay let's see if you should trust them again we got this trust card i guess everybody is getting positive today uh, positive cards today this is really good yes trust you should trust them <laughs> I don't think I, I I need to explain anything more. I got the same card for pile number one also. Definitely, you should trust them. There is nothing not to trust them, I see. I, I didn't get any negative or confusing card. It's completely a positive one. Yes, you should trust them. See, this person is flying without fear of falling down. So, this is the level of trust. Like, this is the level of trust they deserve. Okay? They will never harm you. They will never betray you. If you are facing some problems, because... Uh, which of this patience so just be patient do not uh, do anything um, out of insecurity which might hamper your relationship okay because there might be a situation sometimes when uh, we get um, carried away by the negative circumstances and we start doubting people okay so you need to be patient and just trust that this person is safe and you 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 can definitely trust them just keep patience and let the if there is any unfavorable situation just let it pass okay so pile number three this was your reading i really hope it resonates with all of you guys really this is a such a beautiful one number four smile let's see should pile number four trust on the okay i didn't start it so i won't take it should pile number four trust on that person should pile number four this person can be your mentor your friend your lover your sibling anybody okay and yesterday we are not doing any reversals should pile number four okay oh we got the isolation no 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 you should not you should not trust this person pile number four because they might hurt you this is like the three of swords card in traditional tarot there is kind of they might hurt you they might betray you okay there is somebody who is close to you who you really want to trust i would say who you really want to trust but you should not you don't trust this person they are most likely to backstab you or to hurt you or to betray you. Okay? Do not trust this person. Because they, they might leave you in pain and then just walk out, walk away. And you will be in tears, regretting with this hurt and all these things. Just smile, guys. Just smile. It's okay. 
it might also be that you have been through this hurt and you want to smile like you want this person back you want the old relationship but as i took it out as a yes or no card whether she, you should trust him or not i don't think i don't think let me see Guides, please let me know any guidance for file number four. Should they trust their person or not? Any guidance for them, guides? Should they trust their person in the future? Any guidance for them? File number four. Give me a clarifier for the isolation card, guides. Give me a clarifier for the isolation card. Why is this isolation card here? Is it the incident or is it about the trust? Why is the isolation card here? solution control yeah the clarifier for the isolation is like control so yeah this person might be very blunt and um, rude right they might not care about your feelings so this is why you are yeah so you should not depend on them i would say rather than trust i would say you should not count on them you should not depend on them because they will they are nobodies they they just they just care about themselves they will not care about anybody else if it comes to them okay kind of selfish and guidance for you we got celebration card so yeah just be happy smile smile be happy if you want you can be friends with them you can just enjoy their company but do not count on them guys okay do not count on them they they might help you if it is for their own benefit okay they are those kind of people that they will help you if they see their benefit in that but if they don't have any benefit they will not um, help you no matter how how much you are in need of that first they will see their benefit then they'll go towards something else or somebody else okay it's not that they are really toxic but yeah they are selfish i would say that so you can keep this friendly relationship with them but do not count on them do not depend on them okay just seek your happiness like within happiness comes from within smile be happy be happy you do not need anybody else to to be dependent on right so just be happy pile number four this was your reading pile number five who chose love i don't know why i'm getting a feeling many of you will choose this pile number five let's see there are no reverse card readings and this person, the person you are talking about can be your friend, your mentor, your sibling, your lover, anybody. Okay. So yeah, let's see if you should trust them or not. File number five should trust their person or not. Should file number five trust their person or not. Again, this isolation card, guys. Please look for pile number four also if you have chosen this. No, I don't think this person is worth trusting. Okay. This person might betray you or might um, hurt you if you really trust them and count on them. Okay. They're most likely to do that. Let's see guidance for you. Guidance for file number five. Adventure. Just explore adventure. Like just love yourself. Spend time with yourself. See this person is walking alone. Right? 
so it you you can be again i uh, please look for pile number four also i'm getting the same vibes you can be friends with them but it is better not to count on them not not to depend on them it's better to uh see this rainbow is there this person is walking alone so if you do not depend on anybody then you will have this eternal bliss okay do not expect from anybody do not um, depend on somebody this is your path of adventure and nobody else has any place in that okay because if you trust the person who are talking about if thinking about if you trust this person they might betray you they might leave you out in the cold when you need them the most okay just love yourself guys just love yourself explore your life you have come alone you'll go alone right so yeah just be happy in yourself this is what i can say so by number five this was your reading i guess it was really short today right so yeah this was your reading all the piles i'll pick angel messages for you today for all the piles collectively We'll pick two to three angel messages. Let's see what you need to do. Or I'll do one thing. I'll just keep these and I'll pick one angel message for each of you. Angel message for pile number one. Angel message for pile number one. Okay. Angel message for pile number two. Okay. Angel message for pile number three. Angel message for pile number four. Angel message for pile number five. So pile number one, trust, trust, let's see what your angel message is, purpose. Just search what is your true purpose of living because I see um, this archangel is um, just keeping his hand on his heart. Archangel Gabriel he is, I guess, yeah. He is just keeping his hand on his heart and he is just searching for his true soul purpose. So this is what you have to do. I, I don't remember your reading exactly. But yeah, if the reading was a positive one, then this is your soul, soul purpose. Basically, listen to your heart. If you find it good, if you find it worth it, just proceed with that. Because you, your guidance is to seek your true purpose of coming here, to seek your true purpose of happiness. This feeling of compassion and love should be there. Your heart chakra should be expanded, thinking about anything, okay? So that is your true soul purpose. If your heart chakra expands thinking about a particular thing, then that is then that is your true soul purpose. So focus on that. Pile number two, effort. Let's see what your guidance is. Forgiveness. I don't know what reading you had. I guess you had a positive one. So if you have any hard feelings or negative feelings because this effort may be, oh yes, now I remember. You were trying to, uh, yeah, maybe you had some bad experiences in the past and you are trying to um, trust somebody, but you are having your own doubts. I got, I guess I got the schizophrenia card for you. I don't remember. If that is the case, if you have any negative emotions or negative feelings, negative blockages, like mental blockages which are holding you back, forgiveness. Just let them go. Just let them go. Okay? Forgive the people who wronged you. Forgive any hard experiences, any harsh experiences and you will feel really good. If I got a positive reading for you, I guess I got a positive reading for you and there is some negative emotion which is holding you back. So just let go of that negative emotion and just trust. Just trust. Okay? You will feel really happy. You will get rid of your insecurities. Let's see pile number three. People who chose this patience. Support. I really don't remember. I guess I got the positive reading for you as well. So yeah, just, I would say just be patient. If there is any um, hard um, experiences in the past, just, just be patient. And if that person needs your support, if there are unfavorable circumstances, because this is a patience card, if, if 
there is unfavorable situation which might um pull you away from each other just support each other just support each other just support yourself first of all like do not let yourself fall into a trap of negativity just act as your support only then you can support others okay so yeah pile number 4 smile card we got the guidance so i don't remember if it is if it was a positive one or negative one but yeah this card says that you need to seek guidance basically introspect because he is archangel gabriel is um i guess he's gabriel right yeah so he is just holding a lantern and he is standing alone so basically this is kind of introspection you have to introspect yourself like what is right what is not if there is anything which doesn't seem right do not be weak and stick to that okay be courageous enough be strong enough to walk away if you think that it is not good for you do not just stick around due to your emotional weakness <coughs> even after knowing that this is not right for you okay and again if you want you can see guidance from others any trustworthy person any counselor like just see guidance like whoever you find uh, good okay but mostly introspect trust your intuition do not be weak number 5 who chose this love card we got the unity okay archangel uriel is sitting and see this is yin yang you can see that this is yin yang like maintaining of balance between feminine and masculine energy just maintaining of balance basically and this unity this love card is there so i don't remember if i got a positive one or a negative one for you if i got a positive reading then that is kind of that speaks that this is the right path for you and yes proceed towards unity <laughs> this is what i would say and if i got a negative one reading for you then definitely there is some kind of union do not be heartbroken there is definitely some kind of union some kind of balance coming in your life in the future okay so basically focus on the good thing focus on the balance if you have had any bad experience in the past just let it go because that was for your growth for your lesson because this balance is going to come in your life okay and if this was a positive reading then balance is already there in your life you just need to see it and you just need to materialize it okay this unity card you will be in union with whatever you desire okay whatever or whoever you desire okay guys pile number 5 so this was your reading all the piles i hope it resonates with you and do let me know in the comment section and be optimistic positive happy take care till we meet again mm -hmm.